Good evening, friends. Uh, the budget 2023 presented by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman today uh, was pretty uneventful from a M&A perspective. Uh, there were not many changes that affect the M&A in this country. Uh, having said that, uh, it it may be good, uh, especially considering the media frenzy around. Uh, the expected changes on capital gains tax. There were expectations that the period of holding may be changed, there were expectations that the rates could be rationalized, but none of that happened. Uh, yet, there were a couple of changes which merit attention and I will speak about them over here. Uh, one change uh, has been around section 5627B. Uh, earlier, this section which actually taxes excess share premium over and above the fair value of shares which are issued to any investor. It taxes the excess share premium as income in the hands of the company. This is a punitive section designed to you know, avoid uh, cases of tax avoidance where people were infusing large amounts of money into companies as share premium. And this section was, is therefore designed to uh, discourage black money planning. Uh, earlier, this section was only applicable to Indian residents. This has now been extended to non-residents. So, foreign investors, private equity investors now need to be more careful that the valuation reports that they obtain on any primary investment into a company has to be very robust so that that can be justified and the fair valuation can be substantiated to the tax authorities. The second change. Uh, is indirectly related to m and because it governs the taxation for high net worth individuals, uh, promoters, etc. and is relevant when let us say they shell, uh, sell shares uh, in their companies whether it is listed or unlisted and if they incur any capital gains, earlier they could uh, plan or mitigate this capital gains tax by investing in a residential house property. Uh, so, let us say if a uh, high net worth individual makes uh, a sale of 100 crores on, on, on the shares that uh, he holds, he could invest that 100 crores in let us say a large property in maybe South Mumbai and he would escape taxation on the capital gains that he made on that 100 crores sale altogether. Uh, this was in the views of the government and as they mentioned in the memorandum was not intended to give such large benefits to high net worth individuals. So, what they have done is they have capped the limit on this capital gains tax exemption to an acquisition value of a house property up to 10 crores. So, any investment made in a house property above 10 crores will not be eligible for this exemption. Uh, this seems to uh, uh, help uh, mitigate this tax planning, but one would have to see also what impact it has on the residential, the luxury residential real estate market. Thank you.